I've been talking a lot lately about cheap, low quality backlinks that you might see on certain marketplaces like Fiverr, for instance. I've been talking before about niche edits, which sometimes can actually be hacked links, uh, PBNs where the owner operates a network of sites, most of which don't actually get any traffic and therefore there's not much power in that link. Uh, but then there's also what are called Web 2.0s. And it was a common link, ta link building tactic not long ago where people would manually create little blogs on Tumblr, Medium, these kinds of sites that let you sign up and create a profile because then you get some of the power from that uh, underlying domain, whether it's Tumblr, WordPress, something like that, that then passes to your site. Now, doing a few of those really isn't going to move the needle very much. But with the tool Money Robot, you can actually build thousands at once. And I've not measured this in great detail, but it does seem to be that there is some benefit there. Uh, it's just through sheer volume. Each link might not actually be good quality at all and probably doesn't pass that much power. But when you're building thousands of them, there is some help there. Not forgetting that you also have the benefit of spreading content across uh, thousands of websites. If you're trying to embed a YouTube video, embed your map pack for Google local business rankings, or if you're trying to get more citations, then there are uses like that. I also use it a lot for parasite posts, just because if I bought a parasite post, I want to get as much power into that site as possible. And while I've never built these links to my own website, Google's not going to take down a parasite page like a LinkedIn post or something like that. So we want to give that as much power as we can. So building hundreds and thousands of Web 2.0 links, even if they are very spammy, is going to help. The message here is don't sign up on Fiverr for $50 to $100 to get a load of these built for you, because the software I use, Money Robot, is actually only $70 per month and comes with pretty much everything you need. I don't spend any more than $80 per month on this process. There are other tools out there, but they all require third-party plugins and settings. Money Robot is all just one package where it gives you everything you need. So click the link below in order to sign up for that and get it at the best price. I also encourage you to search SEO Jesus and join my Ranking Revelations newsletter because techniques like this, there's plenty that I can talk about publicly, but there's also a lot that I just really can't share publicly because Google might cotton on and basically end that as a process and make some update, which means it no longer works anymore. So I have to be a bit discreet there. Um, plus, there's also the element of competition, where if I do a YouTube video and it gets thousands of views, then these kinds of niches are going to get more competitive. So I reveal more deeper insights to my private email list. It's free to join, but it just means I can be a little bit more open with my latest and best tactics. Quite a few people have been asking me about building automated backlinks using Money Robot. These are basically automated spam links. Now, you don't really want to use these on your own website, but there are definitely some good use cases for it. What Money Robot does is basically build thousands of Web 2.0s. So we're talking about blogging, uh, blogging platforms like Medium, Tumblr, these kinds of what we call Web 2.0 sites where anyone can sign up and build a little website, basically, but on that domain. So therefore, you get some of the, the, the power of that site, whether it's Tumblr, Medium, all the others. Now, does that really move the needle much? Probably not. The, the thing with Money Robot is you're building thousands of them. And Money Robot will even build basically a tiered structure. So I talk about tiered link building, where you basically want to build backlinks to your backlinks. So Money Robot actually does that out of the box, where it'll build you the Web 2.0s, but then it'll build a load of stuff to those Web 2.0s as well. So does it move the needle much? Probably not, but you are building thousands upon thousands of links uh, very quickly and easily. And and it's also very cheap and quick and easy to do. So you can either pay $70 per month or a $500 one-time fee. Currently, I'm still on the subscription, but uh, you might, actually, if you find you're using it for a long period of time, then the lifetime deal might be better value. I'm a bit hesitant about lifetime deals these days just because things tend to change so fast. Uh, that great tool you bought a year ago, you might not have touched it in six months. So I've definitely been burned like that before. So watch out for that. Oh, you're thinking that $70 is not cheap software, especially when you don't know if it's actually going to work. But the real value of Money Robot is actually just how easy it is. Pushing through capture solving, proxies, and even like, getting those links indexed as well. Whereas any other tool you use, so there's lots of very similar tools to Money Robot, which are arguably more technical, therefore a bit more advanced and better. So we've got Ranker X, SEO Autopilot, uh, even GSA, which is like the, the biggest version, the ultimate SEO tool. Um, but these will require lots of third-party plugins, basically. So when you set them up, you need proxies so that um, these websites don't block you. 
you need to actually break captures. So all these platforms have captures and there are services out there that will basically send your capture to someone across the world who can click and verify that capture for you and then allow the software to do its stuff. There are indexing services. So I use Omega to make sure my links actually get indexed. So, and all these have their own costs. They're all there, not expensive, but still $10, $20 a month. And it really adds up. And also a lot of them are just really difficult to configure. So at first I tried SEO Autopilot because I thought it was a more advanced software. Same as the price, but I did have to buy all these other services to use with it. And it ran really slowly. Those are people complained that you start it running and it goes for hours and hours. And it doesn't actually build that many links. So I've heard all sorts of reports that you need to use the right email accounts and set those up. Um, ideally use your own emails or buy someone else's emails. And it's all just another level I don't really want to go into. So I resisted Money Robot for a long time as being a bit cheap and basic. I didn't want to go with basic, but actually it does work. It's, um, it's much easier just to fire up Money Robot rather than using a third party tool that might be more advanced if you know what you're doing. But sometimes these things, you know, you spend hours trying to make it work and it still just doesn't work. Um, so often making it work requires a lot more investment. So by all means, try it out. I will link, leave an affiliate link in the description below and you'll get this really scammy looking website. I love how all these old black hat SEO tools uh, all look really old and scammy, um, but it works. Just ignore that for now. Uh, but you do need a VPS, so a virtual private server. Uh, you can run it on your own laptop, but what you'll find is if you're using a, uh, a setting for a high competition niche where you need lots of power, that can actually take days and days to actually implement. And you don't want the software running on your machine all the time, having to keep your laptop open all the time. So use a VPS, connect, connect with a remote desktop, and then it'll just run in the background uh, while you can carry on doing what you're doing or even close your laptop. So I myself use Contabo. They're probably not the best VPS out there, but they are pretty cheap. Yeah, so I've got some basic VPS for about five, ten dollars a month. If you want better performance, then have a look at the links below. I'll leave some um, more advanced VPSs, which will enable you to build those tiered links much faster. So now if I connect to remote desktop, we can see my money robot tool just working away in the background. So got all these different projects on the go. So I use it for YouTube videos. I use it for uh, parasite posts. I've also got CTR booster running in the, in the background on my VPS uh, more about that in a separate video. So that's always a bit distracting. I don't like to spend too long in my VPS because we've got all these robots doing all sorts of different things. But this is literally what you get out of the box when you sign up. So now you go to new campaign and you've got all these different diagrams. So generally just go for high competition, super high competition, because <laughs> why not? It doesn't really cost you any more to do that. It will, it will take longer. So it really depends on how many projects you've got on the go at once. But so far, even with my cheap VPS, I seem to be able to run a lot of campaigns at the same time. So I don't really have a problem with running these really aggressive uh, diagrams. So I often use video ranking to help my YouTube videos. So how on earth anyone actually builds these diagrams and decides what's best? I've got no idea. So I'm quite happy just to use them outside the box. You can build your own. Personally, I don't bother because like I say, I think there's some benefit, but would I say it moves the needle massively? Probably not. I try not to get distracted with these kinds of shiny object tools. There's probably some incremental benefit. So I'll spend you know, five minutes to set up a basic campaign with high competition diagrams, but I'm not going to spend hours tinkering, trying to try and move the needle on something that's probably not actually that powerful. So I recently ran a case study about ranking for rhinoplasty North Korea in a competition that Stephen Kang launched in the SEO signals lab. And basically I wasn't going to compete because it's normally a race to the bottom. Um, but then I got bored, thought I'd have a little go. And I just did the bare minimum. I did a money robot blast and some CTR manipulation. Now, a couple of days ago, it actually dropped down to number two for the first time in about 10 days. And I noticed at the same time, CTR booster had actually broken down. So I wasn't driving those clicks to that result. But then I tweaked it and it was fixed. So I set up the campaign again, started running again. And now a day or two later, I've gone back up to number one. 
So there's two things at play here. We're building links with Money Robot, but we're also using CTR manipulation. And with both of these tactics, I can be a lot more aggressive because it's a LinkedIn page rather than my own website. Google's not going to take down LinkedIn anytime soon. So if I were going to build links to this again, I would copy the link and go to uh, Money Robot and put in my money site URL there. Keywords, I want to rank for rhinoplasty North Korea. And then Money Robot even has a built-in article builder. So you do create unique articles and it will create what's called spin tax, which basically means it will be an article that's uh, basically pre-formatted with all sorts of thesaurus synonyms. So basically each time it publishes the article, it's unique content. Still going to be very low quality content, but we don't care. We're just trying to get as many links as possible, even if they're low quality links to this parasite page. So this is what you get. It comes up with the title and then this long article. Now, if I'm ranking a video, all I do is switch this over to video ranking, high competition. And then I'll get the embed code from YouTube and put that in the article. So that's a good way to, that's meant to help with actually getting the video pack on Google. When, if you ever have a Google search that's got YouTube videos ranking on it, then a good way to increase your chances of getting that, that video pack is to create loads of embeds. So this diagram will basically embed your video across hundreds of articles. So you could just do start now and it will just work away in the background. So I've already done this one, so let's close that. But you can see here it's currently running through bookmarks and that's because it creates these tiered links where if we look at high competition, we've got web 2.0s, we've got social shares, we've got social bookmarking. How on earth it does this? I've got no idea. But it's this idea that you want social bookmarking sites that link to your web 2.0s. The web 2.0s will link together and point at your money site. So it's basically linking together all that power, even if that power is pretty small. Remember there's seven and a half thousand websites within the software. So if I just go to something like my digital PR YouTube video, and you can see we've got, we've got thousands of links here. So let me just grab one of these, uh, answer blogs. Let's have a look at that. And you'll see the kind of websites that we're actually building. And the quality is absolutely terrible. Um, there really are people out there who will run this kind of software and then uh, basically sell SEO services or sell links to a client and actually present these pages as a deliverable. Uh, I had a client who joined me saying, yeah, I hired a company for link building. They've literally just got me a load of these spammy web 2.0s, like medium and so on. Uh, but if we come down here, then we can see my link there. In this case, I was running a video embed campaign. So this video has been embedded and you saw how many thousands of pages there were there. This is just one of them. So with that spin tax, let's come up with a title, come up with a long form article. And you can include a link as well. I just linked it to the video itself. Uh, for YouTube ranking, we don't really worry about that link. It's much more about the embed. And if you are focused on YouTube, you can actually increase the power more by actually using CTR Booster to actually run traffic to come to this web page and watch this video through the embed. And that'll increase the power even more. But how powerful is this page? Remember, we've got a subdomain on blogs. So answerblogs.com is probably quite powerful, but the subdomain, probably not. So if we just look at my Ahrefs toolbar, domain rating of 51. Um, supposedly it's not ranking for any keywords. So these links really are terrible. Here's another one on AMP blogs. So same again, same thing. And got the embed. Again, domain rating is 69. So uh, URL rating of three. So again, really terrible quality, a little bit of power there perhaps, but when you build thousands of them, there might be some marginal benefit there. It's really helpful if you just want to, if you just want that sheer distribution to get uh, a really big digital footprint quickly. So another use case for it actually is basically citations. So if, um, especially if you have a local business, you basically want your name, address, and phone number distributed widely because that's a, a ranking strategy for your map pack. Uh, so the local business results on Google. 
So you can use Money Robot a lot for that. So you can feature your name, address, and phone number. You can include the uh, map embed as well. Some people really think that's a big ranking factor. So there's loads of use cases for Money Robot. So is it the most important tool in my in my arsenal? Definitely not. Um, and it also helps with indexing, just getting all those links in. So not only getting content indexed, but also keeping it indexed. Because Google, Google can still see the thousands of links pointing at it. And all of these are being put put through indexing tools. So Money Robot will index them for you so that Google can actually see these links. So it's just a low quality, high volume, brute force tactic. Um, so definitely not the best tool out there, but very helpful. Things like videos, parasite posts, anything that just requires a huge amount of spammy blogs to be created just to get that volume into a project.